Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Did you know most of our Earth is covered in water? Yeah, it's true. If our Earth was a pizza or a cake, and you cut it into four pieces, three of those pieces would be water, and only one would be land. But only 1% of that water is drinkable. And this is one reason why water is really important for scientists to study. But another reason is its ability to change its form from ice to water to steam. These are all examples of states of matter. A state doesn't just mean a state where someone lives in the United States, like Texas or New York. The kind of state I'm referring to is the form that something takes, such as ice being solid, water being liquid, or steam being gas. Wait. What does matter mean, then? Matter is anything that takes up space and has weight. Look around you, you'll find examples. A rock, a dog, a house, the street in front of your house, the trees, a piece of wood, water, coffee, the air we breathe. They're all made of matter. Things like songs, feelings, or dreams, on the other hand, are not made of matter. Why? Because they do not have weight or take up space. Matter makes up our whole planet and universe. Now you might ask, how can that be? Well, whether you can feel it, touch it, see it, smell it or not, it's all matter. Let's take a closer look. Solids are probably the most obvious kind of matter. They have a shape and weight. Can you think of an example of something that's solid? Rocks, a piece of wood, your tennis racket, your basketball? Uh, let's take a closer look at that basketball. Now it weighs, it has an orange color and a round shape. It also has a rough texture with little tiny bumps all over it. And it's rather hard, so if you get hit by one, it could hurt you. But it bounces very well, right? And you can never find space for it in your closet. It does take up a lot of space. Solids don't change their shape, and they can be held. For example, if we put this basketball in a box, it would still be round. It won't become a cube just because it's in a box. But if we fill up the box with water, it would take on the shape of the box, and... Oh no, what a mess, the cardboard box broke and... Hey, that's cool. Water spilling on the floor, and look, it changed its shape again. Indeed. Liquids take the shape of the container that they're in. Can you think of any other liquids? Mm, how about orange juice or milk? They typically come in carton boxes or even gallon-sized containers. But once you put them in a glass, they take the shape of the glass. Or if you put milk in a bowl to make your cornflakes in the morning, the milk will take the round shape of the bowl. At least a glass or a cup of milk isn't as heavy as a whole gallon of milk. So, yeah, liquids not only take up space, but also weight. And they also have color and smell. Orange juice has an orange color, and it smells sweet. Mmm, yummy. But don't leave your milk out of the fridge for too long, as it would go bad and have a pretty unpleasant rotten smell. Eee, yikes. So, liquid is a state of matter that takes the shape of its container and has weight. And most importantly, if you touch a liquid, it feels wet. So what about gases then? What are gases? Well, gases are all around us. It's what our planet is covered with. The air we breathe is a gas. The helium in the balloons for your birthday? You guessed it, a gas. Gases work kind of like liquids, but instead of taking the shape of the container they're in, they just fill it. Unlike liquids, though, gases have no texture, and they don't feel wet when we try to touch them. So here's a very important question for you, my mighty scientist. What state of matter is maple syrup? Is it liquid, solid, or gas? We can figure this out together. Now, first of all, Let's think. Can we touch it? Well, yes, we can. It feels slimy and sticky, right? Now, does maple syrup have color? Yes, it's brownish. 
and it has this really nice, sweet, and toffee caramel smell. Mmm, I feel like eating pancakes now. It's definitely not a gas then, is it? Is it hard? Well, no, it's actually soft. But does it have a shape? Let's try it out. If we put a little in a bowl, look, it takes the shape of the bowl. But if we put it in a square container, it takes the shape of the square. Therefore, it must be a liquid. Ooh, great work, my mighty scientist. And let's get back to water. It's probably the most interesting matter of all, as it exists in all three different states of matter. As a liquid, we call it water. If we freeze it, it becomes solid and we call it ice. And if we put it in a pot on the stove to boil water for our pasta, you'll see the steam coming out of the pot, which is the third state of matter, gas. How mighty cool is that? Up till now, you might not have even thought about it, but everything in the world takes up space, even you. Of course, it doesn't all look the same and feel the same, or even smell and taste or act the same. Sometimes it's even invisible. But everything that has weight and takes up space is called matter. And remember, there are three different states of matter. Solid, liquid, and gas. So let's recap. All matter has weight and takes up space. Solids have a shape. Liquids take the shape of the container they're in, and they feel wet when we touch them. And gases fill up whatever object they're in, and you can't touch them. Interested to know more? I know I am. Come join me in the next video lesson.